You can't talk about internationalization at this stage of development without drawing out from people what they mean. Uh, I mean, the IGF to date, if anything, has been preliminary. Uh, it's been definitional in part. It's caused ideas to be elicited from people. And I think the real benefit of that is that we can come back and address them in more detail later as we refine our analysis and treatment of the problems. Um, but having said that, um, I think that the one thing that we haven't spent enough time on is talking about what the internet actually is. Um, if you look at much of the writing about the internet and much of the legislation about the internet, they talk about it as if it's just one more IP-based network. I see this over and over again, and most people think of the internet as a separate network of its own. In fact, uh, I would say, and, and I think some, with some justification, because I was there from the early days, that the internet was conceived as a means of allowing arbitrary networks to federate. It was a series of protocols and procedures and information flows, the net effect of which was to produce out of a collection of networks a capability that was larger than any one network could provide all by itself, namely the ability of those networks to federate. And I think the effect of the collective is what we see when we talk about the internet. 